All right, uh, we overslept a little bit, but we are going to, as quickly as possible, get over to somewhere where we're going to try to hike uh, pygmy rattlers, but uh, see what else we can do. They're really, really cool species I've never seen before, so uh, let's see what we can do here. You're a happy dog. cruising here we were walking the road and uh well damn easter mud snake <laughs> got smushed <laughs> nice black on top shiny and then beautiful red bottom All right, there's just the f***ing man. That one's rattling a little bit. Because, okay, so we just found one pygmy right here in situ, bright red little rattlesnake. And then this guy right here, pretty big one. Uh, let's move them both to the sand. You watch the one that's, watch them both right now. Yeah. Um, All right, the, uh, the other one got away, but here's this one, freaking Gorgeous, gorgeous snake. I'm gonna take some pictures and then video with my real camera. The other one escaped, unfortunately, but we found a third. It's right in the bushes. Right in the center of the camera shot right now. I was getting a couple pictures of it. Well, we, after seeing all those bears last night, um, we're looking here. Look at this bear footprint. We've seen bear signs all over. These are some pretty good bear tracks. Look at that. Look at that one. Pretty sweet. Uh, all the pygmies so far have uh, gotten away. Or like, we have not gotten ideal footage or photographs of them, so we're gonna keep hunting until we find at least one or two more before changing targets. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping we, we see some more. They're fast and uh, it's not like we're trying to harass them too much, but uh, we'd like to move them out of the grass, to get good pictures of them, but they are venomous and they're squirmy and although you know they don't they're not seeking out uh, a bite or biting they don't want to bite humans but they are relatively inclined to bite when you poke them so we gotta just be careful we're gonna keep looking all right uh we didn't find any more pygmies. We re-encountered one of the uh, one of the first three, but he quickly dipped in some brush, and uh, we let him be. We might go back there later today, but for now we're gonna check out some other habitat, road cruise for a little bit, uh, and see what we can see. That looked like a snake in the middle of the road right there. I'm gonna try to turn around. All right, we're gonna walk some of these brush piles and see what's up. Maybe we'll find that uh, something cool. Just cruised a uh, dead greenish rat snake. It's got these cool 
little stripes on it, so different than the black rats we've seen earlier in this trip. Just gonna toss it off the road. Keep moving. Alright, we're out checking out this this structure. It's hot as balls right now, so I don't really know exactly what to do here, but I figured you know we could find something on the crawl near structure. Might as well take a look. Yeah, it's probably too hot for to look at here. There's enough like abandoned sites down here that if it were flipping weather, we could flip all day. We are back at our uh, pygmy spot, and we're gonna see what we can do now. We're a little bit more equipped to uh, get better footage of these guys, and we're gonna take a lot more in situ photos and such. Also, this area is shaded. Uh, it's kind of towards the evening now, and I think we're gonna have a lot better luck. So let's see what we can do. All right, so. Uh, these at the hardware store. These are uh, perfect for little little snakes and moving things around them. Here we have perfect little pygmy rattler. This guy's actually so chill right now. All right, so this rattlesnake, if you can see, is bright freaking red. And uh, they're tiny. I put my hand just outside of striking range. You can see that he's, I wouldn't, I don't know how long he is, but Check that out, these things are gorgeous. All right, so uh, here we're looking at this pygmy rattlesnake still, and uh, I'm just really actually excited to finally get a hold of one a little bit, um, or find one that was more out in the open. Uh, it coiled up nicely, stayed for some pictures. Uh, these are a venomous snake, so, um, Otherwise, we wouldn't have had as much trouble uh, getting pictures of one earlier. It's just you gotta remember to be cautious. A lot of uh, herpers actually get bit by these guys because they just grab them by the tail or you know get excited when they start to get away into you turn to the vegetation there. They get away into that stuff, and uh, you know then. Uh, it's easy to get excited and try to yank one of these things out because they're pretty, but we uh, kept our cool and finally got our opportunity and have safely uh, been able to get a good look at these guys. 
Um, they, I don't really think they're particularly uncommon exactly where we are, but uh, still a really, really cool find. You'll notice here, you can come closer with the camera. Um, you gotta be careful, because these guys are a little twitchy. They get nervous. This one hasn't struck at all. But you'll notice right here, they don't really have much of a rattle. Um, see, it's just a tiny little tip of their tail. I know that a lot of times they'll actually use that for coddle luring, which is when they uh, lure in things like uh, lizards that they can eat uh, by twitching it back and forth to mimic an in insect. Uh, but as far as like, uh, you know, prevention for stepping on one of these guys, their rattle doesn't really do much. Whereas like a timber rattlesnake, if you, if you stepped on it, it would, or sorry, if you stepped near it, it would rattle and uh, alert you of its presence most of the time. Uh, really psyched to have found this guy. Glad to have gotten some pictures. We're gonna kinda escort it off the path here uh, and let it do its thing. All right, so this, we're just gonna give this guy a little, little tap and and that's what I meant by these guys being twitchy. And as you can see, this is how easily they they get away into this junk. Wow, very cooperative until they're not. All right, we're gonna keep looking. All right, in situ, we got another one right here. Bright, bright red, so awesome. We're gonna get some pictures with the real camera. That would've been cool to actually have on video. Oh, I should've. Wow, dude, this Look at the little battle. Battle. And look at the left side of its head. This one's bigger. This one's much more of an eye angle. Yeah, if you'll check this one out, he's got a nice little rattle. Check that out. Doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. All right, uh, we're gonna uh, just head back and start road cruising now. As you can see, up in the sky, it's still kind of blue, but um, getting kind of more dim. And uh, it's the first time today, it's probably been below 90 degrees, so I think it's time to start road cruising. See if we can find Cambrake, Eastern King, or really anything else. Let's do it. this oh is he still alive oh uh, literally just happened hate that shit mm. oh you can see a bullfrog in his stomach oh poor guy watch out of the roads people Dead. Greenish rat. Pretty sad. Rat snakes here are pretty cool. We're gonna toss them. <coughs> Turtle. Here, don't touch him yet. That's pretty cool. Cruising a mud turtle at night. Alright, listen now, mud.